Hello. Hey. I'm Misha. I'm Bash, here for the interview. <laughs> You've been on holiday. You got that healthy beach glow. Really? Mm, what's a holiday? Oh, that's sad. I just got back from a stag day. Mm, nice. What did you get up to today? <laughs> uh, just played some five-a-side football with the boys. Yeah, pretty knackered. Oh, I love sport. <laughs> Basketball, tennis. Football? Not really. Oh. I'm just messing. I was actually on my junior female football league at school. No, you weren't. Mm -hmm. I like sports that I can play because it gives me more of an insight. Yeah, I mean, it's like so much better when you know how to do what they're doing. And then you watch the professionals and it's like you're watching art. That's beautiful. I've literally been here five seconds and I'm already chatting waffles. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. So, your name? What about it? Well, it's got to be a nickname, right? Well, yeah, everyone needs a nickname. So, what's the story? It's a long story. Condense it? No, it's a long story. Leave it. Oh, don't leave me guessing. At least give me some options. You're an option. So are you. Yeah, fair. <laughs> this is your halfway warning, guys. Three minutes to go. I know, it flies, doesn't it? So have you got any nicknames? No, but my name is already sort of a nickname, apparently. It means Michael in Russian. Michael. Mm. I knew someone called Michael once. He nicked my girlfriend in year six. I'm sure she could choose for herself. Can I call you Mike? Yeah. Have you got any real nicknames, then? God, no-one's ever asked me about nicknames before. Well, I am honoured to be the first. So come on, I ain't got all night. My mate Ryan calls me Muggy Misha. I apparently mug him off a lot. In the blue corner, the biggest rocket here tonight, Muggy Misha! You practised that in front of the mirror, didn't you? hundred percent. So... Did you do any exercise during lockdown? Oh, seamless. I'm just trying to keep the chat moving forward. Ugh, lockdown. It's dragging up a bit, isn't it? Yeah, it was a weird time, wasn't it? I did these daily, like, online workout videos with that dude who's now, like, a UK phenomenon and probably a millionaire. The geezer with the curly hair. Yeah. yeah he's decent. Wait, good for you. Don't patronise me. No, I mean it. Good for you. I did a bit, but I found it, like, well hard to get motivated. So that stag do I mentioned, yeah. It was in Turin, in Estonia. Tallinn, Estonia? Yes. Yes, knowledge. <laughs> Stag capital of Europe, right? So we had to see what all the hype was about. The second night was an absolute madness, OK? We were all in these morph suits, right? <laughs> and the groom had to wear this mankini. By 5pm, he was absolutely battered. But after a little tactical vomit, we were ready to go to the club. It was the best night any of us had ever had. Drinks were flowing, there were back-to-back -back bangers on the playlist, all the lads, they were all together. That's great. Then. There's a little bump in the road. This bird takes a liking to the groom. Wants to go back to his room. No freaking way he didn't. Don't worry. Big bad bash was there to intercept the potential disaster. No, it's not something encouraging for a happily married life, is it? Yeah. We all had a big old heart to heart with him the morning after about it. That's all we can do as his mates, you know? In my mind, cheating is absolutely unacceptable. And his wife to be, she deserves better. Oh, this is commendable on your part. I have to have some principles tonight. <laughs> We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. So we'll be wrapping up very soon. Seems like we might be drawing to a close. You sick on me already? Definitely. You seen anyone you like, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. What about you? You didn't answer me properly. What more do you want from me? I don't know, some more detail? Names, maybe? Nope, no names necessary. I may have seen a few hotties. Yeah? All right, show me. Oh, don't be like that. That like what? She's trying to make me jealous. Trying. Oh, whatever, man. <laughs> and your time is up for that day. Gents, you'll be moving along to your next table. That wasn't so bad, was it? It wasn't. What's your socials? Yes, yes, we stay in touch. It's, um, at Big Bash 123. Oh, you need a better handle. You love it. Ugh. See you in my DMs, bye. Bye. Did you know we're matching? Not really. See that. Come on, spill the beans. How do they go? <sighs> OK. Bash. Well, mm. Firstly, he's called Bash, uh, which tells you everything you need to know. Do you know what? He was really charming. He had really great banter. In a good way, yeah. In a really good way. He had a slightly funny haircut, but we'll let him have that. So, do you think there could be another date? Yeah, I could see that happening. Yeah? Hmm. OK, good. So, Misha. What's going to happen next? Mm, I have one option. Mm -hmm. One's better than none. One is a lot better than none. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating.
Are you all right? Hey. How are you doing? Good, yeah, how are you? Yeah, we're not too bad. Keep well, keep them well. Oh. The week? Yeah, yeah, it's been good, yeah. What are you chuckling about? <laughs> Have I got something on my face? No, 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 no. It's my, my mate sent me this meme. I can't stop. <laughs> Sorry. Look at you. <laughs> Do you want to see it? I'll I think we've it. reached that point, yeah. <laughs> you get it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you find it funny? I can't tell. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Can you send it to me so I can share it? <laughs> yes, I can, of course. <laughs> uh, Dear. Right, what do you want to drink? Wine. Wine? Yes. Nice. I'm yes. going to get a big old pinty, I think. <laughs> big old pint of whatever they have on tap. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Do you know something I think might be quite fun? You've got, you know, you've got to link the arms. Same Ready? Thing. Go on. Yeah. 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 I win. I actually got. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we used to play some wild games back in the day. Want to play a game now? Right. Okay. Would you rather? Banging choice. Would you rather be a vegetarian for the rest of your life or only eat meat? Ooh. Well, I am a meat man. But then I read all that stuff about cow farts killing the planet, so I'm going to go with veggie, save the world. Mm. Okay, would you rather. Nisha. Bash. How you answer this question will not only determine the fate of your future, but the future of our relationship mm. and all relationships to come. Would you rather burp slime or fart bubbles? That's it. That's that. That's the question. Mm. Okay, I can't believe I have to pick one. Really? That's the game. Oh my god. Okay. Um, fart bubbles. Congratulations! You're through to the next round. How come? But like, what about representation? Mm. So you're saying that all of your mates have the same opinions? To be fair, Gaz did say burp slime and we forgave him. <laughs> so now I've waded through the depths of your subconscious, would you rather reveal your real name or be a dog? Are you joking? On the second date? So, dog? <laughs> do dogs stand on two legs, though? They do when they're begging and I'm begging for this to be over. So please, can you sit down? You do know you haven't got to do the whole would you rather thing. Well, I'm a doer, so... Um, nice. OK, would you rather give birth to a litter of fully grown cats or shit out a thousand mini robots? Well, I'm not doing either of those things, so... Spoil, spoil. Mm -mm. Come on. I'm going to go with birthing the cats. I mean, a thousand is a lot. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Claws out everything, yeah. Yeah. Why did I pass this one? Well, the other one's pretty long, isn't it? Yeah, and painful, like shitting out metal. Metal, metal. yeah. See, look, it's the one mind. We're the same. Same wavelength. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather date someone you love or someone who loves you? Oh, someone who loves you. No. Someone you love. Got to go with the first answer. No, wait, no, no, hold, no, stop. Um, someone, yes, someone you love, someone you love. OK, fine, I've got one. Would you rather get caught cheating or catch them cheating? Oh, this is a tough one and you're going to judge me for it. I know. i got to be honest. Catch them cheating. Agree, yeah. I think I'd rather take the hit than be that person, you know? Mm. Hurts a lot more, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. Like, the worst thing ever. Um, but it's kind of out of our control, isn't it? So, might as well just crack on. Exactly. That's why you've got to choose the right person. You do, yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers. 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 <laughs> ah. OK, would you rather lose your salary for the next five years or lose everything in your bank account now? Oh, lose everything in the bank now. There's not much in there, and I can make it back quite quick. Honest work's honest work. That's a great attitude to have. Yeah. Right, I've got one. Would you rather find a pube in your food or someone with bogeys sneeze all over your face? Oh, God, the mental images. I'm glad we're not eating for this one. Let your stomach guide you. Oh, God. Um... The sneeze, you can just wash it off after. It's like, what's the big deal? It's on your face. Yeah, look, I know it's not COVID safe, but it weirdly feels more hygienic. No, and I actually ate a pube once. 
I don't even want to know. Do you want to know where it was? Um, you sure? I don't. It was on a hot dog. Stop it. It was. Stop it. <laughs> Would you rather have a baby every year for 20 years or never have kids? Oh, 20 kids, that's got to be fun. So you want a big family then? My house was pretty mental growing up, and I bloody loved it. Mm. There was always really good chat around the dinner table and that, so... Mm -hmm, I can tell, attention-seeking. <laughs> what? You've you got lots of siblings and you're attention-seeking. I was... No. Well, if you think that, then that's fine. But what about you? That is a lot of pressure. No, it's a totally unassuming question. I don't believe you. No, well, I don't really care, to be honest. <laughs> I'd say big family. However I get there. However you get there. Yeah, like, I'm up for anything, you know, adoption, fostering. Oh, right, yeah. When should we start? Don't make it weird. It is quite weird already. It is a bit, actually. <laughs> My turn. Would you rather be in a toxic relationship for your whole life or forever single? Brutal. I think toxic relationship. It beats getting no action at all, doesn't it? Have you ever been in a toxic relationship? I used to like this bird once and I knew that it was never going to go anywhere. Nearly ended me. She kept breadcrumbing me. What's that? When you keep messaging someone just to keep them around. Why would anyone do that? It's me. Anyway, got one. Right, would you rather get a face tattoo of a heart or a hand tattoo of a penis? Original. I would pull off neither. You look mad with both. Mad's a good thing in this context? Always a good thing. A face tattoo would be fine. Brave. But I like that for you, Mike. I think I'd have to get a hand tattoo myself. Mm, you love your penis that much? I love my face that much. Mm, there's no way I'd go around with a penis on my hand. What about a vagina? What about a vulva? And what? Your poor exes. <laughs> have you got any tattoos? Have you got, like, your favourite football team? Uh, I'm not that much of a cliché. It actually says Iron Upper 2K18. Wow, classy. It was a banging holiday. Was it messy? It was very messy. You loved it. One more for luck, but we both have to answer it. I say the first bit, and then you complete it. OK. OK. Would you rather have your parents watch you have sex or...? Watch them. Oh. Uh, we're totally unstoppable. Unstoppably gross. It's got to be watch them. Yeah, I, I couldn't inflict that kind of disappointment on them. <laughs> OK, moving on. <laughs> so have you dated a lot? Uh, not a lot. A fair bit, yeah. What about you? Oh. Now you're asking. Isn't that many? How honest do you want me to be? Um, I can take it. Okay. Yeah. Nah, bang average. Not too few, not too many. I mean, I'm essentially Goldilocks. Because she dated an average number of men as well, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she really did. Yeah. And a lot of bears. A lot of bears and a hell of a lot of porridge. Food? Food? Food, nice. <laughs> Where's that guy? I had a rabbit called Elvis. I have two cats. Cool crap. Yeah, chunky. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's so brilliant at your job. Mate, is that the time? Really ran away with us, eh? Yeah, I'll get a bill. <laughs> Leah. What? On your neck? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, she's uh, my ex. Do you mind if I ask about Leah? I mean, seems like it was quite serious. Yeah, uh, we were... engaged. Oh. Why did it end? She died. Um... Like two years ago. I'm oh, sorry, I don't know why I'm reacting like this. Oh, so mad I am. Never say that, Bash. You're safe with me. I'm so sorry. I can't even imagine what you've been through. Take your time.
so listen, Misha, um, thanks for not freaking out when I um, freaked out. Hey, the only freak here is me. Yeah, but I like that about you. <laughs> Milady. I thank you. Anyway, yeah. I've been wanting to ask you something. What? Very important. Oh, gosh. You ready? No. Well, I'm going to ask you either way if you're ready or not. Go. Who is getting the call for the third date? Do it now. Mm. Here goes nothing. I was just wondering if you, like, wanted to hang out again. I had a really nice time of the night, and I know this this really cool place we could go to. Really? OK, cool, great, yeah, I'll, I'll send you the details. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my yes! God. Yes, 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 yes! Well done, you. Thank you. Good. I got you a pint. Oh, you are a star. I looked, I learned, I listened. Oh. Like this. I've got a matching one of mine, someone left it there. Someone? Well, a mate's girlfriend. They moved out now, got their own place. Another one bites the dust. You live on your own, don't you? I do, I love my freedom. But I would move in with someone if the right person came along. And how long would it be to who to move in with that special someone? Is this where I find out you're a couch surfer? Easy, mate. I love where I live. You have to remove me by force. Six months? But in reality, a lot sooner if it was with the right person. Yeah, I mean, there's no rules for that kind of thing, is there? So you're a go-with-the-flow kind of guy? I do like to... Flip. Oh, nice. Yeah, like... oh, Very nice. nice. For what it's worth, I'm an absolute dream to live with. I always put the toilet seat down in there. Have you always been like that? Well, I'm the oldest of five siblings, so I have to be the responsible one. Family's aren't well important to me. Thanks for, um, not running a mile after last time. I should say the same to you. Are you sure you're ready to date again? Yeah. Yeah, Leah used to always say that if anything ever happened to her, she'd want me to be happy with someone else, so... How did she pass? Uh, lung cancer. Yeah. Never smoked a ciggy in her life, but I guess it doesn't work like that. That's horrible. Do you want to tell me more about her? She was the funniest person I ever met. And, like, really sexy. You know when they say that you shouldn't stop dating the person you're with, even if you've been together for ages? She, like, lived by that. We never came out of that honeymoon phase, and I don't, I don't think that would ever have changed. I took a real leap of faith, like starting dating again. It's, it's the first time I've felt out of control of my emotions. I didn't know how I was going to respond or, or react to things. And I've surprised myself in good ways and in bad ways. And now I'm just chewing your ear off about it and you don't want to hear all this, so I'm just going <laughs> to shut up. I'm happy to listen. I think that you're taking things slow and you're being respectful of Leah's memory than yourself. Thanks for being so understanding about this, Misha. You can thank me properly by telling me your real name. Oh. Uh... How about on the fifth date? You might not make it that far. OK, go on, have a guess. Out of all the names in the world? Yeah, yeah, have a pun, go on. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I'm trying to see it in your eyes. I'm going to say... Jeremiah? Jeremiah. Our founding father. 
I was going to say rapper, but uh, yeah, okay, founding father. No, no, um, no, it's it's Steve. You disappointed? Steve. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Steve. It's just there are lots of Steves. I'm just bash on a mic. Uh, no, <laughs> no. It's good. What? Your hair. I'm trying to figure out how you get it so flat, it's like you've ironed it. Yeah, sorry, I've got hat hair. <laughs> Hopefully we've passed each other's looks tests anyway at this point. Yeah. It's about the next stage, isn't it? Mm, what's that for you? Just having fun with somebody. What about you? If I had to pick one thing? Well, yes, I had to pick one, so you've got to pick one, so that works. Someone who can make me laugh. Check. Next. You think a lot of yourself, don't you? It's all about that je ne sais quoi. I've heard of that. You find that in the frozen section, don't you, next to the nuggets? Shut up. I guess it's the same as yours, really. Having fun with someone? If you're having fun with someone, there's not a problem in the world. Preach! Sister. I don't think there's any big secrets to a good relationship. No, I like the press. No, but as long as, you know, people can connect, then opposites can attract. You're really doing the intel on me, aren't you? Trust me, there is nothing intel about anything I do or say. <laughs> You're harsh on yourself. Thanks. I'm definitely opposites attract. I think I like to something you and every person that I meet. So you're an optimist? Mm. The chances of it not working out in the long run are higher, though. Let's just stick with optimists, shall we? Yeah. I think so. Mm. <laughs> so are you like one of those people that likes to be together all the time, or do you need your own space? Well... You know, if you always do stuff apart, then what's the point of being together? Do you know what you want, though? I guess it depends on the relationship. Yeah, absolutely. I'd say... Together. If I'm with someone, I want to be with them, you know? I need to be able to hang out with my boys, though. Things change when you get in a relationship, don't they? Yeah, but you need a life outside of it. You can't get everything you need from one person. Mm, not too intense. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like trying to make one person give you everything is going to go wrong at some point. Yeah, it is too much. Also puts too much pressure on the relationship, expecting everything from one person. If someone told me I couldn't see my mates, I'd tell them to get in the bin. In the bin? Right in that bin, I'm there. <laughs> Straight in. This is literally the size of my head. Actually, I've got quite a big head. No, don't All right, say it's that. quite square. No. <laughs> it's getting late. It is, yeah. It was great seeing you again. Likewise. You've got a great chat, Steve. <laughs> you flatter me, Mike. <laughs> Message me when you get home. I'd love to see you again. I kind of think you're pretty special. Oh, come on, I'm not all that. I know you've lost in the worst way possible, but... I hope that you sort of maybe you want to find something new with me. Yeah, I mean, there's this um, quiz night at my local next week if you're interested. Huh? What kind of team will I be joining? One that is in dire need of a star player. Ah, oh, you got her. <laughs> I really want to kiss you right now, but I've got a dash. <laughs> you can do it if we win the quiz. I'll start studying. I'll dash with you. Okay, cool then. Come on. <laughs>